Hello everyone, it's me Ilian from DM Trading Bulgaria and the day has come for me to make up my weekly recap. Now in today's video we're going to look at the trading plan I shared with you last week. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about what was the idea behind the plan. Uh, we'll see how it developed. Uh, we'll also look at uh, the one and only live uh, sign I shared on it and how uh, much profit it made us and uh, last but not least I'm going to share with you my future predictions regarding this pair. So let's get started. Uh, what you currently see on the screens is the uh, plan itself. This plan was based on the Canadian dollar Japanese yen currency pair and this is the H4 time frame. Uh, this is the plan that I posted on TradingView. First a few words uh, regarding the plan itself. Uh, the pair reached uh, this weekly resistance area after a very, very strong and uh, long move up. Uh, basically, uh, the idea was that um, on the H4 we could see uh, that uh, Nelliot wave uh, cycle is completed. So this is the first wave, correctional wave. Uh, so second, third wave, correctional wave, which didn't break uh, the uh, last top and a fifth wave. After the price reached this weekly resistance area, I was expecting a new downtrend uh, to be formed. Another thing here was this uh, small consolidation the price entered uh, inside of this weekly resistance area. That was a sign uh, that currently the uh, traders are waiting for something and uh, waiting to decide. Uh, what, where the price will go next. Uh, as you can see I had um, defined two uh, target levels uh, and those target levels are daily support levels. So the daily support levels tend to stop H4 trends. So if we saw an H4 downtrend from this weekly resistance area my expectations were for the price to reach uh, first this daily support area then probably to have some sort of a consolidation or a correction from there and a new wave down reaching to the second daily support. Now let's see what happened. As you can see uh, the price remained a bit more here uh, for two more days I think, close to two more days and after that uh, we saw a huge drop uh, reaching almost to our daily support area. As you can see, currently the price is consolidating a little bit above that area here. Uh, I managed to share with you a live sign uh, based on this trading plan. Gave some great results, around 140 pips of profit. Let's check it out. Now this is the live graph, uh, the H4 graph. I'm going to switch to the um, M30 as uh, we took the trade there uh, so we can see what happened and how the trade itself developed. You can see where my entry was placed. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, so right here on this candle, uh, you can see that here, right before that, we had a sort of a Bollinger squeeze and uh, square formation being formed after the price uh, entered this area for a second time and failed to break it, as you can see here. So, uh, I consider this break here a good point to enter. Uh, the stop loss, as you can see, was placed above uh, the previous stops the price made and from there, there we just enjoyed the wave down. As you can see, I have also uh, specified a take profit level right here, uh, but the price so far hasn't reached this take profit le level, it went close. Uh, so here I have decided uh, to cut 70% of the trade in order to protect the investment, uh, take home some of the profits and the rest 30% are still open and uh, the stop loss is moved to break even, so somewhere here. 
uh, great trade. Uh, now, what can we expect? Uh, we might see a reversal here and a new move up. If uh, I see that happening, so if basically the price go above this uh, previous bottom, I would consider closing those 30% while still in profit. Uh, and that's it on this trade. I hope you caught it, it gave good results. Now let's go to the H4 and just discuss uh, my future predictions regarding uh, the price movement. So first thing, what we see here, I'll turn off the Bollingers as we won't need them now, uh, is that the price is uh, currently forming sort of a range here on the H4. Now, uh, as you can see, this defines basically uh, the previous bottom where the price stopped. I'll just take only the candle stop here and the candle whips here. So this is the previous top uh, bottom, sorry. Uh, in this case, what are my expectations? Uh, there are a few possible scenarios, of course, but uh, the main one I'll be looking for is for the price to retrace back to here, which will basically be a correction, and then to form a new move down, which will uh, most likely enter into this daily uh, support area, or hopefully even break it and move further down. Of course, we have the scenario of uh, the price, let me just change the color of that, of the price breaking uh, this previous bottom. Uh, so that would mean uh, that most likely uh, the downtrend is over and uh, we are ready for an uptrend. So here, if we see a break, I would expect a small correction and then <clears throat> a new move up, probably up to those uh, previous tops here. Uh, so in this case, uh, there are a few opportunities. I'll look for entries Let's just pick some other color. I'll look for entries either here uh, for a sell trade and uh, I'll take some of the profits here when it reaches this uh, daily support area. Uh, we can also look for buy opportunities here if we actually see uh, this breakthrough. But I'm more inclined uh, on the first scenario for the price to move a bit more up, reach somewhere here, and then move down. Of course, uh, after that, but this is a more long term, if we see a break of this uh, daily support area, I would expect uh, right after that a correction. This daily support will turn into a daily resistance and a new drop to the second daily uh, support and second target, so you can look for entries after this correction. Uh, just wanted to make it clear, a final scenario, which is also possible, is for the price to actually not retrace back up to here, but just uh, start uh, the downtrend from here. In this case, uh, it's a little bit more complicated. Uh, you can look for entries uh, somewhere inside here. As you saw on the 30 minutes, we have a Bollinger squeeze. Uh, or another uh, good opportunity would be when a new correction forms from uh, this daily support as I don't expect the price to break it that easy and a new downtrend wave from here which will break it and look for entries somewhere here as this is the last bottom. Those are basically the possible scenarios on this uh, trading plan. Um, I hope you managed to catch it when I posted it last week. I also hope you managed to catch the live sign I shared with you. And most importantly, I hope you managed to make uh, more trades on this uh, downtrend move as there were several opportunities, although I didn't share uh, that much live sign I just shared one, but still it was a pretty good one. Uh, if you missed this, uh, join our Telegram channel where we post our live signals 
and follow us throughout our social media profiles so you got, get notified whenever we post a trading plan or a recap video or something uh, else useful as a content. Thank you very much and our team wishes you a profitable week.